Hello, welcome to take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so Mr. Farrison gave his class three mathematical rules to prove or disprove which can be proved for all real numbers. Okay, let's just go through them one by one. In the first one we have m plus p squared. That's going to be, well here we have, it's really just m plus p times itself. And you might recognize this structure, you're going to foil it out, what would you get? m times m is m squared plus mp plus mp plus p squared. That's going to be m squared plus two groups of mp, so 2mp plus p squared. And that's, that's true, right? So we're given that right here. So the answer has to have one in it, and I know that three cannot be true then, right? One must be a choice. Now in the second one, I have x plus 3 cubed. Now this one right here, I'm thinking that, well, it's really just x plus y squared. OK, those two multiply. Then that result times x plus y. Now x plus y squared, it's going to be similar in structure to this. You already have it to work with. It's x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Just like the m's and p's, I'm just throwing in x, x's and y's. And that has to be multiplied by x and y. So then we're going to get x times each of these terms here, x times x squared is x to the third, plus x times 2xy is 2x squared y, plus x times y squared is xy squared, plus x squared y, plus 2xy squared, right, y times this middle term, 2xy squared plus y cubed. Then, what do we get? Simplify all this stuff. Well, you've got x cubed plus, let's see, you have 2x squared y plus an x squared y. So that's, that's, so we took care of this one. Now we've got these two terms right here. And that's going to be three groups of x squared y. And then we have another three groups of xy squared. So it's plus 3xy squared. And then plus just the y cubed here at the end. Oops, y cubed here at the end, and that's what it equals. If we scroll up, you can see x cubed plus 3xy plus y cubed, that's not true, so 2 can't be true. Okay, so this is gone. It's got to be just 1 or 1 and 3, so we need to prove is 3 true. Now, side note here in the second one, if you know how to use Pascal's triangle for these binomial expansions, binomial is a algebraic expression with two terms, the Pascal's triangle will always tell you what to do. All right, in Pascal's triangle, I got this two here by adding one and one, and the next row will be one, three, three, one. The next one will be one. One plus three is four. Three plus three is six, and three plus one is four, and then ones go on the outside here. Oops, let me fix that. Oh, that, oh boy. Three, three, one, one, four, six, four, one. And what's nice is, that here, this tells you the binomial, the coefficients of the third binomial expansion. So x plus y to the third, this would be for x plus y to the second, and this is to the first, right? And x, x plus y to the zero is just one, and so on and so forth. You can see that these coefficients, one, one, three, 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 and one, one match here. So an, an, if you like, if you'd like, another way to use uh, use the Pascal's triangle is in these binomial expansions right here. Uh, but in the last problem here, we have a squared plus b squared squared. Okay, so this one I'm going to write out a squared plus b squared squared. Now before we think about this on its own, think about it in connection to what you've done so far m plus p squared is m squared plus 2mp plus p squared, right? So we can use that idea here. Instead of m and p, we have a squared and b squared. So it's going to equal a squared squared, just like it was m squared, plus 2 times a squared b squared plus b squared squared. So it's the same thing as before. So instead of m's and p's, we have a squares and b squares. 
We multiply exponents in these cases, so it's a to the fourth, a to the fourth plus 2a squared b squared plus b to the fourth. Now, I know that's what this equals, and but if we look back at the problem, we get this. And it doesn't mean that you've done anything wrong, it's just maybe you have to also simplify this side to see whether they're equal or not. So I scroll down. Let's see if this is equal. We have a squared minus b squared squared. So difference of squares squared plus 2ab squared. So 2ab squared, let's do that one first. Let's just, you square the 4 and the 2 and the b. You distribute exponents across factors. So it's 4a squared b squared. Over here, we can apply the same basic logic, or if you know the difference of squares and how that works, um, so you can multiply this out, or you can use the difference of squares. I'm going to multiply it out, go a little bit slower here. So I have a squared minus b squared times itself. Okay, so it's the difference of squares squared. So let's first do it the long way. a squared times a squared is a to the fourth minus a squared b squared minus a squared b squared again, and then plus b to the fourth. Okay, so, and then we have plus 4a squared b squared, this term right here. So hang in there, we're almost done. So what happens here? Well, you've got a to the fourth and b to the fourth, okay. Then you have, so that's just a to the fourth and b to the fourth. Then you have 2a squared b squared is being taken away and 4a squared b squared is being added. So 4 minus 2 is 2, so it's a plus 2a squared b squared. Right, I just took these are losing two of them and gaining four of them is the same as gaining two a squared b squares, which is what we have here in a different order. a to the fourth plus b to the fourth plus two a squared b squared. Same thing here. So those are actually equal. So it's got to be choice one and three.